So welcome everybody to this uh, week's open Zoom. So that's just the directness of whatever is happening, rushing to do the dishes before starting the meeting, sitting and listening and wondering what's what's going to be said or whatever. That's just simply the immediacy of whatever is happening. And this is free to be joining this meeting for no reason or to claim that there is no reason or to say well i'm here because i'm lonely and uh, this is the only means of contact i have is this already so this is free to be whatever it seems to be loving hating flying to the other side of the world to kiss a guru's feet this is free to Cross balls, bust heads, make war, make peace, make love, have enemies. That's just simply this freedom. Just the directness of whatever is happening. And it was already just simply this. And it's never going to be something else than whatever is happening. And there's no separated you doing the loving doing the flying to the other side of the world as a separated you, kissing the guru's feet or not. And this may just simply change from wanting to move to India and start living in an ashram. This may just simply shift into drinking a lot of beer and partying or whatever. This is just free to be whatever it seems to be loving this message this is free to be feeling separate thinking there is a me who's able to take life by the balls and to make it as i want it's already just simply this it's already not too it's just a natural reality a body speaking a heart pumping lungs functioning just a functioning body, as far as it seems. This is it. Just the ordinary business. You can call this life or awareness or energy or Shiva or God. So the giving this a name is already just simply this. And there may be a wanting to get this. And maybe I want to get that it's just this. That's it. The wanting to get, the wanting to see that it's all just simply this. Is this already? This is free to be wanting. This is free to be longing, to hoping, to try to figure this out. It's already just simply this. And there's no one doing the figuring out or the trying to figure this out. There's no one doing the needs. There's no one having the needs able to drop them. There's no one separated in any state of non-acceptance able to move to a state of fully accepting. Acceptance may happen. Acceptance may fall. This is free to not accept. This is free to be whatever it seems to be, and there's no one behind this freedom. This freedom is not for anyone. It's ungettable, unfindable, and at the same time, it's already completely this. The words, the listening, the liking, the disliking, the moving the eyebrows, the blinking of the eyes, the smile, the gentle laughter, the chewing on food, the sitting in the car, it's already just simply this. What a beauty. <laughs> Boom, what a beauty, sweetheart. Wow, what a beautiful intro. Amazing. 
Zandalinchen, do you want to check the room if someone is in it? Um, I don't see anyone in the room. No, it's uh, it's 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 just this beautiful amount of people. What a joy! Yeah. Yeah, totally. Cool. Right. Let me enter Don. Don is coming. So this is free to be wanting to join here tonight and listen. And this may just simply change into watching Netflix or taking a walk with your dogs. This is free to be fantasizing over a beautiful wedding dress. <laughs> Who am I, am I going to invite to my wedding? What food shall I have? Maybe I will go on a honeymoon trip. This is free to be wondering what's next. It's already just simply this. And there's no one doing the fantasizing about the coming honeymoon. It's just full on this, fantasizing, hoping that everyone is having a good time or the absence of fantasizing or hopes or beliefs or likes or dislikes. And this may end. The so-called life or this may just simply stop, collapse. But it will not stop for you as a separated autonomous being or doer of this. This life didn't start it for you already, nor will it end. This is free to be dying, living, starting, stopping. The starting and stopping is not for someone separated. There's just simply no separation. Already, there's just the totality of whatever seems to be happening, sitting in a Zoom. This is it. Welcome, everybody. Don, nice to see you. And very nice to see all of you. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in San Francisco. San Francisco, Just, where the flowers grow, or was it not the song? No, flowers here. Ah. It was a hippie song, right? San Francisco, something with San Francisco. Yeah. Hippie town. Hippie town. Yeah. But it's all... It's all in the imagination anyway. There's really no San Francisco here, right? It's well, just that. I, I, no. I, go ahead. Go ahead, Don. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's here, but only, only as, as, as a creation from from wherever. So it is here, but it's like as a creation from, from wherever. Well, well, yeah, well, and it's, it's not about if it's actually there or not actually there, you know, there may be a sense, you know, there, there is a real San Francisco. I show you, I take you and we, and we walk there. That's already just simply this. So it, this is not about if it's real or not real. Mm -hmm. It's simply what is claiming that there is a San Francisco or saying it's all a dream or it's only an imagination is already just this. This is free to claim that this is not happening or this is happening already. So here there's not, you know, saying that it's all a dream. 
at the same time, you know, believing this is a dream or claiming this to be real is already just simply this. It's it's so free to to say mm. it's really happening. I feel that it's happening. That's it. Feeling this is real. Feeling I'm getting my ass kicked in San Francisco is already just simply this. For for example, like um, my ass is being kicked. It's real. Well, it hurts. No escape. It just hurts. It's what it is. Or my ass is being kicked is an illusion. Well, what's the probe with the illusion? So just the ass being kicked. So nothing changed. It's the same. <laughs> Cool example, love it. So this is this is not about flipping coins from it's all from real it's from it's all real to it's unreal or it's from from real to a dream. You know, calling this real or calling this a dream or claiming this to be unreal or both or neither. It's just simply this. This is free to be called whatever it seems to be called. A dream, life, energy, fantasy, imagination, God, Brahman, Shiva. This is free to be seen however it is seen, however it is called. The very calling, the claiming, the words is already this. This is free to, to be whatever it seems to be, including the suggesting this is it already. That's just freedom. That's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome, my friend. Yeah, thank you for that, too. <laughs> really. It's so a, it's a funny because I, I normally you have a binion, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm 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 letting go. Yeah. <laughs> letting go. Letting go. Yeah. yeah. Dawn Dawn is dropping the dropper. Yeah, so, so we can say there's just freedom already. In the sense, it's already just simply what it is. Saying there's just freedom is already just saying there's just freedom. And there may be a liking and a so-called resonating with the suggesting that there's just freedom. But this so-called liking or resonating is all there is. It's already the totality, and there's no one doing the resonating as a separated you. There's no one fabricating these words. They are just rolling out of a face. There's no one inside creating these words, like a little guy then rolling them off the tongue. It's just trees growing, a body talking, rain falling, a gentle smile on a beautiful face. And of course, this is free to, to feel separated. Feeling separate may happen. Feeling, God damn, you know, I have to do something about my life. It's going the wrong way. Is already just simply this. This may happen. Trying to take life by the balls and to make it into whatever you want to make it is already this. And this need, you know, to control it may just simply stop. This is free to be control or the, or the lack of control, the need of control, the lack of the need of control already. And trying to control the need to go to meetings. 
may happen. Sebastian, driving car there beautifully. I, I don't want to disturb you. Maybe it was not a smart move to stay. <laughs> Maybe. It's all right. It's all right. How are you doing? Happy Good. to be here. And thank you for the introduction. I'm here driving in the south of France. So I'm actually passing through a um, little village where I grew up. It's been maybe 10 years. I haven't been through this road, so. Um, thank you very much for letting me in. And yeah, it's all beautiful, all um, acting by itself or itself or for nothing, who cares? And um, I think it's, oh, have you seen that? It was a fox crossing the world. That was beautiful. Well, anyway, yeah. Um, it's all happening spontaneously. And being here just happens spontaneously. And because of the YouTube algorithm, I've been through your videos and I really enjoyed it. And here I am, meeting you all. That's it, <laughs> pretty much. Thank you, Sebastian. Keep your eyes on the road. We don't want you to yeah. crash. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit used to it, so it's all right. I'm used to, to um, I'm working while I'm driving, so I'm used to use my phone while driving. I'm, I know it's not a good idea, but don't do this at, at home. <laughs> I, I will put a little disclaimer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so beautiful. Sitting in a car and driving and a fox passing the road, being amazed expressing that amazement is so spontaneously innocently this already there's no plan to to see a fox and to be amazed it's already you know ne you never know what's next this is just simply dancing freely chaotically it has no plans It's already just fully, completely what it is. Even the idea or the belief that it has no plans or it has plans is already just this. Just life, lifing. Like Sebastian was saying, it's all spontaneously, innocently. There's, there's no master plan. There's no one behind this at the same time thinking there's a master plan or there's someone behind this like a man in the sky orchestrating this from a distance keeping the score on the laptop it's already mm -hmm. just this and there's nothing wrong with believing in a higher power this is free to believe in a higher power, free to believe in God, to believe in Satan, to go to the church and pray, to stop praying. Just to simply no one separated doing the praying, doing the liking of God. This is free to be liking God, liking certain sounds, foods, activities and this so-called liking may just simply shift the law for god may just simply shift into the law for ramana or ekatola or muji or tony mm -hmm. <laughs> or xander well yeah i mean basically for for everyone for your dog 
<laughs> for your cat. So, but the, but the shifting of interest is just innocently this. There's no one for who this is shifting. There's no one separated owning the interest able to hold them able to make them go away. Then maybe you're trying to make some interest going away by putting your finger in the nose, trying not to do that may happen, but there's no one already, you know, as a separated you putting the finger in the nose. There's just a body <laughs> putting the finger in the nose, that's it. It's just plainly what it is. And trying to control a habit or to get rid of a habit may just simply happen. There's no one separated having any habits. Habits are just dancing freely. The habit to lay in the sun may just simply die out. The habit to go to church, to go to non-duality meetings, the habit to figure this out may just simply vanish like snow for the sun. But this is not vanishing for you. There's nothing which is already here for you. Life is not for you. It's not yours. But the idea that life is for yours is just simply life already. The feeling this is my life is just simply life. That's the feeling it's yours. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with believing or thinking that you have a life It's already just simply life or this or energy or whatever it's been called. Or you are alive. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thinking you are everything and nothing is this too. What else? Claiming that you are the little butterfly sitting on a leaf, claiming that butterfly to be you is already not two. It's, it's just simply what is. Believing that you are everything or you are nothing or something in between. This is free to claim that it's all you. That's just you. Nothing else. And this idea or this belief that there's just you may just simply crumble. Like a cookie. Crumble like a cookie. Garrett, my friend, how are you doing? You want to share something? Is there something going on there with the wife? How's the stuff going there? No, nothing to report really. Um, I got the flu, I think. <clears throat> oh my God, no. Yes. Yeah, so don't get too near me. Um, <laughs> it started raining. Uh, I'm in England, and it's been raining forever and ever. And uh, I find it so depressing. Um, I got wet feet, and uh, now I got the flu, and uh, having a bad time. I was thinking uh, a number of years ago, me and the wife, we went to see. Indian man, in, sorry, Indian lady. I don't know if you uh, heard of her. Uh, Mother Mira. If you uh, look into her eyes, you can get a like a bit of a blessing or something like that. And a lot of people were uh, walking, you know, in the... Uh, in the room, they were walking up the uh, on their hands and knees, and, and so I had the stroke. I can't say the words, but people were um, walking up to see her in the uh, in the hall and uh, looking through her into her eyes, and a lot of people were they were crying and uh, wailing, you know, and uh, I didn't get anything from it myself. So it was a bit of a waste of time for me, but um, a lot of people uh, love her, you know, and uh, 
She has a very big uh, touring uh, following. So I gave up that and now we got on to the non-duality. We haven't got any nearer with this yet, I don't think, but... Uh, well, how, how closer can you come to this sitting in a Zoom meeting? Tell me. How closer to this can you come? What already is just simply this? So this is it already. I mean, the idea that you're still not close or you're far away from this is already just simply this. It's hard to come closer to this in the absence of a you and this the very belief or the suggesting i'm not close is already just simply this how much closer can you come yeah, I, was listening. I think i was listening last week to um i think it's rosa was saying about a different whole thing i don't know what she said but uh would you agree with that? Um, depression is a beautiful thing. Well, yes, I mis misunderstood it. Well, it's it's not so much you know. It's it, this is not about seeing seeing everything beautifully. You know, this is not saying that you know suddenly depression is beautiful. No. I mean, this is not about uh, seeing only flowers and uh, only sunshine in 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 England. No. That's just simply whatever's happening. Depression, calling it beautiful, calling it ugly, wanting to get away from the depression, trying to seek help for the depression, doing all types of methods to, to release the depression, taking pills, taking booze, drugs, whatever. This is not about seeing it in a certain way. At the same time, you know, trying to see the beauty in this is already just simply this. Trying to see the beauty in depression is already this. So it's... May I add something to this, Sandra Lintian? Oh, yes. Go ahead. <clears throat> um, uh, wh what did they say? That depression is beautiful, Gareth? I can't quite remember now, but it was in, in one mm -hmm. of the recent... Um, it's um it's remember. the words the words are not important in a way it's everything is nonsense already but um i would say having an issue with depression or not having an issue with depression is this you can say full-on depression so what yeah it's just what is it's very disappointing or hopeless and that's the freedom. That's the who cares. Doesn't matter. Right. Even if it matters, it doesn't matter. There is no need. And the need is a two. You see? You cannot get it right. You cannot get it wrong. You simply cannot get anything. There is no you already to start with. Just depression. Simple. Yeah, Garrett, this is free to be depressed. This is free to be screaming in joy. It's free to be whatever it seems to be. Depression, happiness, blissfulness, sadness. Yeah. <clears throat> and Andrea. Yeah. What's up? Any Anything coming up there? I think uh, it's a really you hear it a lot, don't you? Where there's this this idea um, that once you see through, or whatever words you want to call it, that it's it's it's. See, I always use the word "it's beautiful" because it is beautiful, but the horror is is the very fact of whatever appears that it can appear is like beautiful, right? But it's like. I remember having it myself. I remember this like this misconception that that being super spiritual or whatever was it, it was going to mean that you know like I'd 
I don't know, I'll fart butterflies and rainbows are going to spout from my head and, you know, I'm going to skip in fields, like, you know, like all this kind of shit. It's <laughs> it's funny. It's funny how there there is this, like, really strong belief. And I think that's, it's, it, that's the point. It's just a belief. Drop the belief and then it's, that's the freedom and that's the beauty. I mean, as you, as we talked about yesterday, like, the my horrific past and the very fact that like like for, from here from here like uh, where i'm at like it's the very fact that it appeared is what's beautiful you know like i've i this body suffered in me i had psychosis depression anxiety every bloody disorder i had it all you know and, and it's like this immenseness of energy and whilst you're in it, it's not beautiful. <laughs> it's really ugly and messy and horrible. But it's equally beautiful too. You know, it's like trying to explain to somebody that within chaos, there's peace. <laughs> it's like, what? You know, they don't understand. But there is. It's always there. The silence is always there. The peace is always there. The chaos is this. The peace is this. And that is what is beautiful. But even that is just another like concept, isn't it? The way I describe it, you can't, I can't, I can't, uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, you, how, how can you say anything? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, you just said it already. How can I say anything? It's already, you know, yeah. it's already what's been said. I mean, yeah. it, it's, you yeah. know, this is free to believe that freedom is only. Yes. Yeah. When yeah, yeah, yeah. rainbows are shouting out of my mouth and I dance in the field and I see flowers, this is free to believe that freedom is only when this, this and that and that and this and this. Yeah. It's only yeah. Free. That's the freedom. It's already free to be whatever. It's already. Yeah. 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 Including beliefs, concepts, ideas, how freedom is, how it should taste, how it should feel. Yeah. Yeah. How I should behave when I'm free. It's already just free to be whatever the fuck it seems to be. Yeah, it's yeah. Believed to be, it's claimed to be. Yeah. Believing that freedom is only and only when I'm blissed out, sitting in full lotus position for at least a year, <laughs> and, and then only is already just simply this and this idea that is yeah. freedom when and if and then yeah, that yeah. may just simply crumble and what is left is already what always was just simply this yeah ideas about what freedom is beliefs about what freedom is claims suggestions yeah it's the already alreadiness. <laughs> already alreadiness. And, you know, this is free to be depression. It cannot be freedom. No. Mm. How can depression be freedom? Yeah. How in the hell can depression be freedom? That's it. Yeah. This is free to be, God damn, this cannot be freedom. Yeah. I'm getting my ass kicked by my husband. You know, I, I'm depressed. I have to take pills. This, how can you call this freedom? That's it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But had you had had we had this conversation like twenty years ago, I'd have I'd have, I'd switched it up. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, and that's it too. Yes, you know <laughs> yeah. what a bullshit, Sander. Oh, how can you tell this to me? You know, I'm here. I mean, a fucking misery, and you talking about depression is this too? It's just crazy. You're an idiot, and I don't agree with it. You're just yeah. full of shit. That's it. This That's is free it. to claim that this whole meeting and the guy sitting there and talking is an idiot. Yeah, yeah. It's just simply this. Here, there's no asking of anyone to agree or to disagree. Agreeing yeah. may happen. Calling certain characters an idiot may happen. It's already beautifully this. Yeah. One yeah, day yeah. you're a god, the other day you're the devil. It's just simply how it plays. And there's yeah. no one who is a devil. There's no one who is a god. This is yeah. just simply itself already. And there's no one being him or herself. That's just 
this call this the self or god or nirvana or paradise or the kingdom of god or satan it's just already this there's no one separated from the directness of sitting in a meeting it's like the dancing of the northern lights right there's no there's no rhyme or reason there's no like order of the color or whatever it's just this just this dance of color in the sky beautiful yes that's the beautiful that's that that's it right there that's the beauty yes yeah so i, I have a question for andrea if it's okay to ask you <clears throat> yeah sure trying to understand this so i love what you say now assuming or you have to tell me if you go into a state of depression or yeah. some deep on that level somewhere yeah when you're there in that moment would, would how do you say it? would you have i'm going to call it a point of view you know forget about the words i'm using yeah yeah would you be this if you were right now to what, what you'd call depressed in your experience yeah yeah would you be speak would you be looking like this and speaking like this does that make sense yeah yeah but i i can't i like so the feelings are still in fact uh this morning uh i had a big wave of anxiety come over me for no reason at all so yeah it's a great day to ask me that question actually um and yeah everything stays the same there's a where there's What's shifted is that there's an awareness. Again, let's not police the words, but um, there's like an awareness that this is just what's happening in the body. It's not happening to me. Um, there's a, a kindness instead of a resistance. And that just allows whatever is passing through um, to just appear, happen and disappear. And in that, it's it's not sticking to anyone. So it's not happening to, like, once upon a time, it would be like, this is happening to me and probably would have gone into a full-blown panic attack. Now I'm very aware that everything this body has experienced is very, very stressful. It's fought a million wars. And at times, I can have this, like, wave of anxiety come over, but the, the thoughts aren't attaching to a me story anymore. So... I'm just, it's like a different awareness in my head that goes, okay, this is what's happening. And I'll do whatever, it, whatever, uh, whatever is needed to comfort and just to relax everything through. And not, uh, it's not that I stop the stories. There's just, there's no stories anymore um, because there's no central point. It's just what's happening. It's the play of life. And it's just what's happening through the body. Does that make sense? Did I answer it? Yeah. So you, you, you never get caught. I'm not, a, this isn't an accusation. I'm saying you never get caught that it's me. You don't, no. that doesn't occur for you anymore? Not anymore, hmm. no, no. I had um, many okay. experiences where uh, the me really bottomed out and I realized that that like, this is just, this is, this is just nothing appearing as a big fat something. And uh, so it's very, um, it's very loose. However, I had uh, some sickness last year um, and completely out of my control. And there was a big fat wave of meing that came back in because there was a lot of fears. A lot of stuff from my past came up. Um, people were coming back to my life that I didn't want them to come back. So there was a bit of a freak out last year. Um, but it was, I'm, I will say, it was the concepts of, of non-duality. There was this, like, a religious kind of, like, reminding myself, come on now, like, that you, you've you seen the truth kind of thing. You know, you, you've got this. Um, and it hasn't happened since then. And that, well, like, little things like this morning. But it just, yeah, it just goes through now. I think what happened last year was a great um experience you know I've, I've heard lots of people say this actually like once they see through then it's like everything comes at you at once and that's exactly what what happened last year 
Um, and yeah, it's all pretty transparent now. Yeah, there's nothing to be frightened of, nothing at all. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you for your You're honesty, welcome. your openness, and thank you. Yeah, and I'm always here, by the way. I'm a trained hypnotherapist, so if anybody is experiencing that, I'm always here to chat, and I'm not saying I've got the answer, but I'm here to listen, so always open to, to support. So, Dom, beautiful. Thank you. Andrea, they can we can share your your link there in the in the film. So sure. so Dom, you know even even in the midst of a full blown anxiety attack, you know there may be a sense of this is happening to me. There's nothing wrong. This is free to feel completely. This is my anxiety. This is free. You you know to 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 feel and to claim. That it's mine. You know, this is full on meing and being. There's no one doing the meing or the being. You know, there's nothing wrong in feeling like the center of an anxiety attack. There's nothing wrong by feeling this is my anxiety and I have to do something. It's happening to me. That's already just simply meless. This mm. is not about losing a me or trying to diminish a me or something. Whatever is happening is already meless in the sense it's not happening for anyone separated. The anxiety attack is not happening for a separated you. There's just the body going into a full blown anxiety attack and there may be mental things going in the sense of this is my anxiety attack. It's as innocently as the absence of the sense that it's happening to me. But this is not about getting rid of a me. You know, the one who is believed to be in the center of the hurricane is already not there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Already. This is not mm -hmm. about losing any sense of a me. There is, There can be a sense of a me. This is free to be fully, completely meing. It's all about I think it's you. possibly I think it's possibly more so in the midst of the anxiety attack to say like what what was it that you just said then a moment ago there's already nobody oh. in the center that's what already. you said is that what already right so in the example of somebody who perhaps hasn't realized there's already not somebody at the central point that's it's like the anxiety i'm making a story out of it now but it's like the anxiety is trying to destroy that so you can see that there's already this isn't happening to a central point this is just what's happening you know does that make yes. sense yes and no one is going to realize that there is no me no, that's right, yeah. There's no one who's going to see through this. No. There's no one able to see through or get rid of a me already. Whatever is happening, anxiety attack or sitting in a Zoom meeting or life, which is just simply this, the directness of whatever is happening, already never started for, for you. There was already yeah. no you separated getting this life, getting this body, owning yeah. the body calling the body that's just the body calling the body me the body is me it's innocently this is me hello this is me it's just simply a body claiming this to be him or her identification with physical form or the lack of identification with physical form is as innocent as the words falling out of this face It's already, there's already no one in a panic attack, but yes, there may be a sense, it's my panic attack. There may be a claim, it's my panic attack. This is free to claim whatever the claim seems to be. There's no one separated doing the panic attack. There's no one owning a panic attack. 
There's just this full on panic attacking. And the beauty about the panic attack is it's actually like a great seeing that no one is in control here. Like seriously, like the the greatest fear in the moment in that you can't control it is the greatest truth. There is no one there doing this. Nothing's in control. It's just this happening. In a way, it's so obvious, right? Yeah, yeah. The open secret. And Zandra, <laughs> I love, I love this brutal directness. Like you're expressing this so amazingly. Yeah, yeah but already, already already <laughs> we can maybe go even more direct <laughs> it's already saying already love it that's oh. the already readiness right yeah it's it's simply this this is it simply this saying there's just this is just simply this and there may be a loving of those words it's no higher it's no sacred <laughs> secret wisdom you know saying there's just this or ordering a big mac at the mcdonald's it's just simply this already yeah and liking to eat the hamburger or going to a, a zoom meeting is as innocent as the hamburger i don't see the hamburger attacking your face <laughs> i mean it's all <laughs> innocently this already it's just you know, rain falling, sun shining, trees growing. As is saying, rain falling, trees growing, sun shining. It's already just this. Sweetheart, you, you have such a wild imagination. A hamburger eating your face. Oh, I, know, I, I, you I wonder, I wonder what kind of life. movies you are watching there, really. Well, maybe it was the 5-MEO DMT or whatever. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm never ever gonna eat a hamburger in the same way ever again. Do you know you've literally just transformed how I see eating a hamburger. Am I eating the burger or is the burger eating me? Like what's going on here? Well, it's, it's eating <laughs> itself. This is completely <laughs> eating itself, you know? And that's oh, brilliant. Oh, that's the best thing I've heard, I think, this year so far. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> excellent yeah and there's no one fabricating <laughs> these these suggestions these words there's no beautiful analogies you know there's no strip written it's just tumbles out you know it's just with everything it's just that's just the flow and then the liking of the flow it's also the flow there's just the directness of whatever comes out as is the laughter the direct laughter or the absence of laughter. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh boy. Beautiful. Tony. Sweetheart there in Spain. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Hello everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. Even feeling separated is, is not separated. There's no separation. Well, then. And coming back to the, the depression is beautiful. You know? On the one hand, nobody would, would sign such a statement, you know? because that is not beautiful. But at the same time, depression, uh, dementia, dirty, is this, is this, yeah. and this is whole and complete. And whole means perfection. This is perfection. Beautiful is a synonym that perfection. Then, wow, I feel free saying depression is beautiful. Yeah. I don't know that may be misunderstood and one, and myself in one moment well that's not beautiful at all of course anything may happen but it's beautiful because it's this and this is has not the opposite beautiful ugly mm -hmm. this is this let's say this is beautiful because it is free and being free must be beautiful yes. well, 
Yeah, Tony, totally beautiful. This is so direct. And there is simply no right and wrong in any expression. And when there is this impulse just to say, depression is beautiful, it's just this. It's like there that. is no need to flip the coin and say, but let me explain. The misunderstanding of this very sentence is this already. Who cares? Absolutely. Who cares? Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely. Love it. Yeah, this is free to call this just this or to call depression beautiful or to call it ugly or to 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 demonstrate hearing the suggesting that depression is beautiful. This is free to not, you know, to not like what is being suggested. It's so free to not like this. Do not like characters saying that depression it's beautiful. I don't like it. That's it. This is free not to like anything or some things or no things. It's already just simply this. And this is not a thing. Sitting in a Zoom meeting talking about depression, if it's beautiful or not, or ugly, or trying to explain or to go deeper into this is already just in this. This is not a thing. You cannot take sitting in a Zoom meeting in your hands and hold it. You cannot force it in a certain way. You cannot save this. But we can record it, sweetheart. We can record it and post it. <laughs> and I love it. That's cool. Yes, you can record it. You can save it. Beautiful, yes. Yeah, what a joy. Totally. This is like... This needs no happy, happiness to be happy already. No matter how you flip it, it's just, uh, this is not freedom. This is not about freedom. This is hopeless already. Or this is freedom already. Oh, blah, 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 blah. It's the whole time nonsense coming out. What else, of course? Nonsense, nonsense. Beautiful yeah. nonsense. The celebration wow. of the nonsense, yeah. Yes. And sometimes we pretend that that things make sense. No, no, this <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Any sense. No, no. Yeah. you know, you know the the theater of the absurd is beautiful, no? Samuel Beckett and the, the theater of the absurd, waiting Godot is in the stage, different characters saying silly things, nonsense, but in a in a very serious manner as if this meant something, and not at all, not oh, at all, absolutely absurd. But this is life, that, that doesn't make sense. But really, it's not this, because in order to be something absurd, there would be something uh, coherent, meaningful, serious, and it's not the case, <laughs> then not absurd, not serious, this. Whatever you call no nonsense, yes, nonsense. Beautiful, love it. <laughs> um, Constant wrote a message. I loved your analogy of a hurricane in your interview with Sander and Rosa. It's meant for you, Andrea. Oh, thank you. We are preparing for a hurricane now here in Florida. Yes. Yes, you know, trying to do everything to save your house, your ass, your 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 whatever claim to be owned, you know, trying to protect this is already innocently this. I wonder what kind of protection is now happening there over Connie, but maybe you don't want to talk about it. Uh, but this would be interesting to know. Kind of preparation yeah i'm just sitting back and just watching it happen <laughs> <laughs> crazy chick you <laughs> no there's just um you know the homes have hurricane shutters so we close our shutters to protect the windows from debris hitting them we pick up everything from the yards you know whatever's in the yard and um yeah and then you just sit back in your living room and make s'mores and just watch Netflix. 
<laughs> so nothing is happening in a way. <laughs> yeah, I've been through a lot of hurricanes. I believe, yeah. So there's not really, um, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there are some people that have just moved here that are, you know, preparing. I mean, yeah, I mean, you do prepare. I'm not saying you don't prepare. You make sure you have water. You make sure you have food. You do all the preparations. But then literally you just have to sit and wait till it goes through because there's nothing really to do. That's Thanks all. for sharing. Yeah, beautiful. Thanks I'm for sharing, Stephanie. You know, the hurricane is as innocent as the preparing, you know, this is free to prepare and to go under the house and sit in, you know, in the basement. It's also free to not do anything, you know, to not worry. Anything may happen. Worrying, you know, trying to prepare with all types of things and just sitting and watching Netflix and let the windows go to hell or whatever. It's, you know, this is free to be there or no. It's just simply whatever. Yeah, I really enjoyed the interview with, um, is it Andrea or Andrea? Is it Andrea? Either way. Either way. It depends on what mood I'm in as to how I say my name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's pretty either way. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed the interview with you and Sander. It was lovely. Thank you. Thank really you. you said a lot that resonated. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your story. Oh, such a pleasure. <laughs> and a little bit of madness <laughs> and it's so beautiful like that every story is so unique so beautifully unique it was such a strange thing actually because I haven't actually told my story and it's like everything everything's a bit muddled it's not it doesn't roll as easy as it once would and like the time memory and all that kind of stuff and 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 the expression of the story I noticed is like it, it's harder I don't know there is definitely a shift in you know there's no investment in the story so much even though I'm fully aware that the investment and getting lost in the story is obviously still this like you can't escape like whatever whatever but there is some kind of a shift in which the expression the order um the importance all of that just kind of I don't know so yeah it was it was a really good it was a really good kind of experiment just to see how it rolled and yeah good fun thank you yeah, it rolls as it rolls. Yeah, I wrote that today, oh, didn't I? Something yeah. about it rolling out your mouth like the, the waves on a shore or something. It always rolls just simply how it rolls. Yeah. Even the idea that it's rolling not that good is just simply rolling innocently. Yeah. Thoughts, beliefs, that it just... It just rolls, rolls and rolls and rolls. Rolls Royce. <laughs> Don't, I've got images of burger rolls and whether I'm eating the burger or the burgers can be, I don't know what's going on, but that's brilliant, by the way, Santa. I'm never going to look at a burger in the same way ever again. It might attack your face. <laughs> Sweetheart, feel free to share if this happens, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm curious about the burger story. <laughs> no me already. <laughs> Eaten by a burger. <laughs> I'll make a real. <laughs> Tony. <clears throat> About Andrea's story, I was impressed and wow, very beautiful. And especially this while this first memory when she was five or six months, I, I, I remember. And he yeah, yeah. moved his head and the blue and the yellow, this 
uh, flowers. For me, yeah. this moment was so poetic and so wow. A movie, a poetry, a play, more beautiful because more real, so close. I I was the baby doing this and looking this. Yeah. Oh, and this yellow, Andrea, thank you. Was oh, amazing, you. really, really. Thank you. I'm touched. Thank beautiful. you. Beautiful. Tony, Tony, beautiful. I, I, I've noticed when you start to speak, we, we in a way perceive quite similar. While Andrea, Andrea was so beautifully able to to this was such a beautiful movie I was watching while yes. Andrea was it was really like like a movie, like totally drawn into the movie. And it was so easy for me to imagine everything there, you know? Uh, no the matter of abstract. Past, uh, yeah. Everything. <laughs> yeah, everything. And yeah, Andrea, beautiful. It's it's in a way a skill, skillful narrator. Uh, it's a gift. And it, it's um it was for me so easy to to dive into the story and to completely lose myself into this beautiful, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, considering I've had video phobia and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs> well, sweetheart, shit happens, huh? <laughs> yeah, it certainly <laughs> does. <laughs> Thank you, though. That's really lovely. Thank you. I'm going to me a bit now. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy if <laughs> you can. <laughs> Patricia, sweetheart, what's up there? How are you? Um, I'm having problems tonight with the. Uh... Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. No. Can you yeah, hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, I'm just having uh, problems with the reception tonight. Um, I've just changed onto my phone, so it seems a bit better. Uh, but a lot of it I've just been missing because of the because I was using uh, my laptop, and it was just I don't know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, that's a bit better now. So yes, um, I watched the video with yourself and um, Andrea and Sanders, and it was really, I really enjoyed it. It was really good. Um, I watched that this afternoon. Um, and apart from that, I'm okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if something happened when I watched that. There was a real sort of sense of stillness, if you like. Um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was lovely. So thank you for that. It was really nice. Thank you. Oh. I love it. I love the bit when you can't, you can't, like you can't explain it like the words literally it's like you're walking up a path trying to explain something then all of a sudden you kind of stutter and you can't get because that's it that's the that's that's the non-centered thing whatever this is you know like it's like it's trying to tap onto the door of the mystery and it's beautiful i love it when that happens it happens yeah. to me all the time <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, exactly. There's, there's not, so, not a lot to say, really. No, um, it's, it, that's the beauty as well, isn't it? The beauty is all the words and the beauty is none, no words. Hang on, I'm going to get dogs. I'm going to stay there. Sorry. It's, it's all this, not knowing what to say, knowing what to say, stuttering. It's already... Dogs knocking everything over, everything. It's already mm -hmm. this. It's completely what it is. And at the same time, it's utterly mystery. You know, there's no knowing of this. It's just, and at the same time, it's already the saying. It's not, no knowing of this. Yeah. 
being touched by words. It's, it's such it's such a beauty, you know. There's no one touched, you know. At the same time, there's no one touched by anything. So, yeah. But there may be a mm. sense, you know, of being touched by words or by God or by by whatever, you know. It's just this already, the completeness of what is. It's already the totality. There's no one doing the touching. No one is touched. At the same time, it's just full on this. This. Yeah. silence words emotions feelings sense perceptions um uh, i was just when you said it's there is no knowing of this right sweetheart did you say this well that's in a way it's just another knowing you know saying there's no knowing of this in, in... yeah i was i was i was uh, thinking of gareth like maybe he he tries to understand this, right? Garrett, am I right? All right. <laughs> uh, yes, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not leaving you an option, so you have to say yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh, and then it, this trying to understand this was talked about, and then at the same time, it's already a Garrett there. Yeah, sure, of course, of course. You know, it's at the same time, <laughs> like. The trying to understand and the already understanding everything. It's 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 the game of yeah. Um, yes, I mean this the seeking is the thought, the trying to understand this is already this. The trying, you know, the trying to grasp this is already the trying to grasp this. This is it already, the trying to understand it to claim it there's nothing separated from whatever is happening or seems to be happening or is believed to be happening <laughs> trying to get this 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 trying is just beautifully innocently this already it may just simply stop you know the trying may just simply shift into the lack of trying the lack of wanting to know the lack of wanting to find out, the lack of seeking. Seeking to find this is this already. The seeking is already just simply this. The seeking may just shift into, fuck it. Let's go out, take the wife <laughs> out for a nice dinner, enjoy. Yeah, it's so cool. So it, it's not getting boring, you know? One thing that uh, if I get a bit depression, the one thing is very good is to listen to uh, Zorba the Greek. You know that song? Which Zorba, song? Zorba the Greek. No, I don't know it. Uh, Tony, do you want yes. to sing it a bit? Uh, it's a, uh, well, a, a Sirtaki, a dance. Ah, I know, yeah, 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 that's why. Tony Wing dances the Sirtaki. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's why I wanted you to start because I, yeah, beautiful. Uh, Gareth, I love it. I love it because yes. I grew up in a way in Bulgaria, so I had this Greek stuff also running. I love it. Yeah. Also, the one where they smash the face to the music, yes. they're all like in a line and they, they yeah. go on with it. Oh, I know I've done that very <laughs> drunk, but I've done it. <laughs> so, on the other hand, if you listen to the wrong music like um somebody playing a cello cello that can really get you down if you're somebody uh, playing a cello you know like a violin, yeah. a violin a violin you know like a cello my favorite instrument is the saxophone and the drums my dad was a drummer so i do like the drums love the love the drums actually and uh but yeah the saxophone that's the one that just sends me to bliss whenever i hear a sax that's it i melt yeah, it's so beautiful andre it's so innocent you know hearing yeah. uh, hearing the saxophone and you know being feeling blissful melting down you know hearing, mm. hearing the cello and getting depressed only of the sound and calling yeah. that certain emotion or activity depression i mean calling yeah. certain activity or a sensation depression or happiness is already this naming yeah. certain emotions bad dude 
everything in between or or certain feelings the feeling of depression or the feeling of happiness is already this yeah the framing the dividing the stating the naming the labeling certain things as good bad and everything in between is already innocently this yeah crying your eyes out listening certain music and and dancing like a like a princess hearing other music is just this it's not the juice yeah. it's simply innocently it's just all a dance you know this is just dancing yeah. really yeah as emotions Beautiful. as likes as dislikes as love as hate as wondering pondering whatever this is dancing as well. If I listen to that instrument, you guys, then, oh my God, I get depressed. And when I listen to that music, I feel much better. That's it. Yeah. And even that can change. It can change. Like that, to for yeah. no reason. To, do you know what I mean? Like one, you might just hear, uh, I don't know, like a street artist or whatever playing the cello and you're like, oh my God, this happens to me all the time. Today I drank an iced coffee. I I hate coffee and I don't think hot drinks should be cold. And I loved it. And like, who would have known age 49 and a half? Like, you know, it just changes like that, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like the like the collapsing of the porridge, you know, or whatever, you know, loving a certain breakfast or loving a certain artist, loving a certain non-duality speaker, loving. Yeah, the... didn't you, Sandra? Didn't you like crave or eat a certain food? I heard it somewhere on something that you oh. ate it, and then you got bucket loads of the stuff and went off it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was this love for. You know, for a certain porridge from India, I was eating this every day, day after day, even when COVID, when there was no need to, you know, when there was not even the need for food, I was stuffing yeah. it in, you know. And then one morning I woke up and, you know, no, <laughs> I just got, you know, I just got for, for a whole year freely sent from a factory in India as a gift. I ate it two times and there was just simply no, you know, this may just simply shift from loving a certain breakfast, a certain speed. Sweetheart, it's a very natural reaction. The things you have, you don't want, and the, the, what you don't have, you yeah, want. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, making this logical is this too. <laughs> I know, I just, I'm yeah. just kidding, yeah. I'm just kidding. But it's so nice, the example, exactly this example, you know. But here, Sebastian, you, you wanted to, to say something while... Um... Um, yeah, I just wanted to say to Garrett, like, um, actually, all the suffering that you can feel at some point can also drop immediately in a fraction of seconds. It can be quite amazing. Um, all these years of resassing some uh, thoughts and thought process that's uh, kind of uh, blocked. And in one fraction of a second, something can be seen and pff, it all mm -hmm. evaporates. That's the beauty of it. And it's, it's just the possibility of it uh, is just amazing. And there's a lightness to it, you know? And mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's just what I wanted to say to you. <laughs> oh, so cool, Sebastian. Now Garrett is going to hope for this very bloody moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, yeah, it's... but that's it too, you know, that's it too. But I, yes. I mean, I mean, it can be, there's both both sides, but who cares? It doesn't matter. And all the words no, that no, I it, say, it's it it just not no, so no, important it, also. Just but, let, me, yeah. let me say, it was just a joke yeah. because I know that Garrett isn't suffering. Right, Garrett? Oh. No, 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 no. That's why it was really a joke, but I simply wanted all to right, say, right. if there is someone really like <gasps> listening to this, okay, okay, this may be stopped. So, so I have now, I'm hopefully waiting for this very moment <laughs> when this boom will disappear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. That's just simply no control. You, the, yeah. The belief itself that there is control, the sensation, the feeling that you are in control, that feeling itself is already uncontrollable. <laughs> the belief exactly. that you are in control, the feeling that you have a life, 
and that you are in control, that feeling itself is already incontrollable. Just to there see. is no control. None. It's uh -oh. just... It's just, uh -oh. it's just... <laughs> <laughs> and loving the statement that there is no control <laughs> or there is control is already uncontrollably it this. It's already this. The yeah. liking of the suggesting that there is control or not, the loving of the suggesting, the hating, the thinking, it's total bullshit. I can prove you that there is control is already it's, simply uncontrollable. Yeah. This, it's this. And, and moreover, and moreover, who cares? Come on, let's be honest. Who cares? <laughs> well, I mean, caring, caring may happen. You know, caring, caring. If there is control, you know, this caring. This wanting to see, this wanting to have it clear, you know, the caring to find out may happen. But like Sebastian say, this caring may just simply in a nanosecond just poof. Or it may just simply poof. over time, slowly, this caring may just slowly crumble like an old cookie. Or it may just simply arise, caring. <laughs> <laughs> because they are a little bit you know that the the crumble slowly because they are a little bit old it's only fresh <laughs> cookies who crumble <laughs> no, it's just, no i mean giving we want gooey cookies what's this with crumbly cookies we want gooey cookies right <laughs> yeah, yeah gooey cookies they crumble not so good but because they're good. No, but but you know you know making this logic, it's also beautiful. You know making this look. Ah, it's because of this. Ah, it's because. Of that. Ah, it's yes. I understand it now. So trying. I to was an astrologer. I understand that. <laughs> of course, it's the stars. No, it's yeah. the moon. It's because yeah. of the moon. You know, you have a bad temper. It's because of your. Your trauma because you didn't get your red bike but the blue one. That's why you're you're not happy yeah. in your life. So make sweetheart, sweetheart, you know you know what I've noticed that the the less the less sense things made, like the nonsensical the story was, the more I loved it. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, what well, well, that's it. I mean you know when it's when it's when it's less sensible or when it has less sense i mean it's already just this stories about you know traumas and why there's a trauma and because of this and that and nothing else is already this you know making this into a logical equation is already this or the absence mm -hmm. of trying to put this into a box and making it logical yeah. Whatever is happening doesn't need logic. Sitting in a Zoom meeting, talking, feelings, emotions, liking, disliking, it doesn't need logic. It's already just simply what it is. As is the logic too. As is the logic too. <laughs> Garrett, 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 do you agree? Logic, yes. Do, do you agree, Garrett? You um, got it now? I mean, it's really like, <laughs> like now <laughs> engraved, engraved like a tattoo. <laughs> I'm writing it all down on my uh, paper. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, I love you, Garrett. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I have to play, uh, write the bullet time. What do you call it? The bullet uh, points before I start to, to speak. Yeah, because of the stroke, because of the functioning, yeah. right? Yes, yeah. but the rubbish that comes out of here sometimes. My wife laughs at me, you know, but uh, it don't make any difference to me. But uh, yeah. The words okay. just come out back to front sometimes. But, uh, uh, tell me, what, what did you wrote? Uh, read a bit of your bullet points, sweetheart. Oh, they well, they were little, um, they were little um, lines, you know, about continuity is an illusion, you know, uh, and uh, I didn't understand that, but uh, I've heard that said quite a few times. Continuity is an illusion. What else have we got here? Well, who knows that, sweet Garrett? Who knows that continuity is an illusion? I mean, it's, you know, this is not about absolute statements. At the same time, claiming this to be a dream or, you know, a fantasy or Maya is already just simply this. Claiming that there is no continuity is already continuity in the sense that it's already just this. 
There's nothing else but continuity. Nothing else. There's only continuity. This is Garrett, it. Garrett giving gi giving the sentence continuity. What did you? I already forgot. What was it? Continuity is <laughs> what. It's a difficult word to begin with. Continuity <laughs> is an illusion. Yeah. yeah, it is taking out the sense of these words. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. It's the same. Does it change <laughs> anything? You know, writing it on the paper and trying yeah. to say it ten times. It's already mm -hmm. simply this. Like really, there there is simply really no need to understand the sentence you just I, I, brought I, down. Yes. Total, totally. You know, you see how senseless this is. It's just us blah 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 blah. Yes. Uh, words are so <laughs> it's just, quick to. It's one of those. Yeah. Sorry. The words are so quick that it creates a uh, a me. You know the. Uh, the words coming that quick, you know, it immediately uh, makes a, a me, I think. At the same time, also not. It's really like, like it doesn't matter, really. The ideas, yeah. the thoughts, the imagination, it's like, really, it doesn't matter if it's there or not there. A lot of, there is a lot of moments in this so-called day where there is simply no you, of course not. Only when things are kind of rough in in it, oh yeah, I don't like it. Fuck. Resistance. Otherwise it just flows. It's just crumbling. It doesn't you, you don't care. Most of the time you don't care. It's so ordinary. Yeah. Always. You know, and Garrett, this is free, you know, this is free to take notes, you know, and to, to, to try to get it by writing down and to remember and, you know, hoping that this will lead you into greener pastures. Where, where, I... where flowers are growing and, 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 and everybody's joyful. This is already free to be whatever it seems to be. There's nothing wrong with writing it down. This is free to write it down you know, to, to flush to the toilet. It's just simply what it is. So beautiful. This is so beautiful. That's the game, Garrett, you know? Garrett is doing this, Rose is doing this. Xander is is booming out with beautiful analogies this evening. This is mind-blowing. Oh my gosh, I love it. The old cookie, the green pastures. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I mean... The eating hamburger. <laughs> the cookies, I, I never used to say to my wife, I never used to speak to my wife about cookies because in uh, in the UK, in England or Wales, we have uh, biscuits. Oh. We don't have uh, cookies. Uh, so it's new to me. <gasps> you don't have Maryland cookies? No, only biscuits. What? <laughs> what? I'm in London. We have Maryland bis Maryland cookies. Yes, I know them. Yeah. And what's the? There's a cookie shop too. I can't think what it's called. Sorry. Can't remember. Andrea, maybe you you want to send Garrett some cookies. <laughs> I'm gonna be sending you some cookies. <laughs> Gooey ones, not crumbly ones though. <laughs> <laughs> So, sweethearts, I think uh, talking about cookies, I think this cookie is done for tonight. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm going to the burger shop before it shuts. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, sweetheart. <laughs> Maybe you're going to be eaten. <laughs> I'm going home. Don't worry. I'll have a, I'll have a, I'll have a machete and I'll, I'll have my like, crash helmet on. Like, I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, such a joy, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Sandra. Yeah, Thank have you. a beautiful night. Thank you. Watch yeah, the you viewers. Too. Take care Thank of the you. cookies. Don't Bye. let them get old. Bye. Love you all. Bye. Bye. What a joy. Bye.